Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 20th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video here. We're going to start out looking at some footage taken over and from Sunshine Village Ski Resort, just west of Calgary, as a very bright meteor and flash and burn up was seen over Calgary and area. That was early this morning at about three or f between three and five a.m. And there's been so many meteors falling across Canada recently. Many reports in Calgary as of late. There's another one on February 8th and February 9th as well. Stay aware and prepared. Lots of awesome events happening around our planet. We're going to start out here looking at our sun. As still, we're only watching plasma lifting from the sun, but huge amounts of it lifting here from the northwestern limb, affecting the heliosphere. You can see in the later images, we did have a small one sunspot that formed and it died out quickly. That pretty much formed throughout the day today, and there's not much to talk about. Still no coronal holes nor sunspots. Geomagnetivity is quiet, and our solar winds are still variable at about 350 to 400 kilometers per second. Looking here at the earthquakes, largest earthquake, the last 24 hours, 5.7. They're in Russia, and just yesterday we had a couple volcanoes that were updated there. Another 5.4 in Philippines, and as well a 5.4 Indonesia. So sizable earthquakes crossed western plate and it moved northwest into China with some shallow earthquakes. 5.1 there in China. 3.0 recently in Greece. Another 3.9 reported in Spain. Well, sorry, France. Central America, we did have 4.9 there, East Pacific Rise. Moving south, 5.1 there, South Sandwich Islands, Visakoi Island, and as well, Bouve Island with a 5.0. Central America, Dominican Republic still rumbling away. And as well, lots of minor activity across the North American plate. 2.5s ringing all up the West Coast as well. And some central earthquakes here, 3.3 in Texas. Yesterday reported 4.5, banned in Oregon, Oregon, sorry, my bad, as well, 5.1 here, Les Browns, and moving south here, we just have to get into a different setting here to GeoNet for earthquakes, and we can see all the earthquakes for New Zealand, and New Zealand has seen an uptick, and that's why I'm reporting here, 4.1 there, but look at the northern islands of New Zealand just riddled with quake quakes right now and that is a small subduction zone as well stay where prepared my friends and family just have a plan have at least two weeks worth of food water and backup electricity because you never know when these disasters can happen to you your country your city your town I just want to keep everybody aware this is looking near at the earthquakes last seven days, a lot of deep earthquakes and as well a lot of volcanic activity. So plate lines going a little nutty right now. Let's go to the Pacific Disaster Center here looking at the major extreme weather events across Europe, United Kingdom. As the deluge of rain just keeps coming, low pressure system after low pressure system. And there's also watch just over here, Greece, Moving into Turkey and Syria, this is going to be an extreme weather event over the next couple of days as it is forming rapidly. Atlantic, still, as I said, just atmospheric river following the jet stream right into the United Kingdom, Ireland. I mean, just look at the cloud line straight across here. 
atmospheric river goes from the Galapagos Islands all the way to, to Europe. It's insane. So extreme weather event also across South America, throughout parts of Bolivia, massive thunderstorms today, lots of hail being reported, and very strong winds. Just looking at the satellite imagery here, it almost looks like a weather bomb. Looking at the Pacific Disaster Center, we've only had three volcanoes updated in the past three hours. If you want more information on volcanoes, be sure to check out the volcanic activity report I released last night. Overlooking the United States, still major flooding situation now has moved into Wisconsin as well. So the Mississippi River is really starting to back up and southeast is slowly flooding across the country. Australia, Tropical Cyclone 17. I just got an update now. There is no name for it yet. Let's watch the five-day forecast of Tropical Cyclone 17. Now, I was talking about this yesterday, and it's going to penetrate land. And look at this five-day forecast. This does not happen, okay? This is a tropical cyclone forming on the coastline and coming on land. This is not right. This does not happen. I mean, it does happen, but it's very rare. So, stay aware and prepared. My North Northern Territory and my Australian friends and family, that's going to be a nasty storm. And there's another cyclone forming just west of it around the same time. And, I mean, the heat in front of this storm is what is going to project it and keep it going. So if that thing just rips straight across the land, expect massive flash flooding. Thoughts and prayers to all of Australians being affected by these cyclones that are coming. Let's get to home base here as we still have a roller coaster event of temperatures. It was 10 degrees this afternoon in Calgary, but tonight it's going to be minus 3, minus 4. So pretty much cold at night, warmer during the day the next little bit. But Monday into Tuesday, watch a low Low pressure system come through. Alberta Clipper is forming. 10 centimeters of snow, most likely, maybe 15. We also have a Pacific low that moved into or moved in from Mexico, Mexico coastline. And that will be a Colorado low. But still, it's early in the forecast. If these two join forces, the, Al the Alberta Clipper and the Colorado low, we're going to have a very large nor'easter affecting. Uh, southeastern United States and northeastern straight up to the Atlantic provinces. Cold temperatures still dominant across uh, northeastern Canada. Overlooking Europe, situation is not getting any better to all the flood alerts. As that just the huge low pressure system. I mean, look at these isobars too. So strong winds still coming in tons of moisture and literally you look at these lows it's almost the size of the, the whole north pole like if i was to compare it to australia it would be the size of australia friends and family i don't mean to freak out or anything but you know i'm just getting frustrated how you know our um our governments are going to keep blaming us for all this climate chaos when it's all just solar cycles. And yeah, that's all I'm saying about that. Let's overlook the Pacific as the same thing is happening there. Huge low pressure systems forming, sustaining their velocity, sustaining rotation. I've been watching across the Northern Hemisphere and some of these low pressure systems have been spinning around the Northern, the, the planet for Eight days. South America, watch for extreme flooding across Paraguay as daily evaporation starts to develop some pretty large supercells over the next little while. It's very warm. And as well, same thing. Southern Hemisphere, we're seeing the atmospheric rivers affecting 
South America. So right now they're affecting North America, South America, Europe. And it's about to hammer Australia. Not much to talk about in Africa. Daily evaporation rains. Madagascar, not much relief over the next few days. As that rain pushes through, long atmospheric river affecting them as well. Interesting times we're living in. Much love and thank you for joining Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide, where I post my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world, keeping people, humanity, aware and prepared. Don't forget to smash that like button. We're going to leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.